these are the steps that you're going to uh, do or follow in solving an exact differential equation. The first one is to, I, of course, identi identify. You first identify the differential equation. Kung ano siya, no? Let's say, is it variable separable? Is it homogeneous differential equation? Is it exact or non-exact? So once you identify, because there are homogeneous differential equations that can be solved, that can be solved using exact if it uh, passes the test for exactness. But if it doesn't pass the test for exactness, then it could be na nan exact siya. So in either case, you need to verify if it follows the template MDX plus NDY. So you now identify the M function and the n function number three once you already Id identify the mdx plus ndy format then you are going to get the partial derivative of n with respect to y and see if it is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x if they're both equal then it is exact. If they are not equal, no, then it is non-exact. So number four, if non-exact, then what you're going to do is to solve in three cases. So first trial mo, is yung 1 over n and then the partial derivative of m with respect to y minus partial derivative of n with respect to x. Ayan. This should be exclusively in terms of x. If it's not, then it's not possible. You try the next one, 1 over m is m and then you have partial derivative of n with respect to x partial derivative of m with respect to y this should be g of y if it's not then we'll have the third case class and the young third case the third case is about uh, integrating factor na equal to x to the m, y to the n. Ayan. Kasi dito, class, your integrating factor is e to the f of x dx. Dito naman, your integrating factor is e to the integral of g of y dy. So, in either of these three cases, kung saan man mag-fit or kung ano yung magiging possible, then ito yung magiging values ng integrating factor nyo. It is very important. You should be able to formulate the expression for integrating factor because that would be step number five. Step number five is once you get the value of the integrating factor, you're going to multiply it with all the terms in the m function. That's why we have this. So you have a new differential equation wherein the integrating factor is multiplied to all terms of m and to all terms of n. And then you get or uh, perform test for exactness once again. So, mayroon ka ditong 
Yan. Lalagyan natin natin integrating factor kasi nagbago na siya. You're hoping that it will now be equal. Partial derivative of the integrating factor times the n over uh, or in terms of x. It should be exact this time. It should be exact. Because number seven, so you're going to get the integral now of your um, integrating factor m dx. So this should have whatever is the answer there plus a g of y. Because you're only integrating in terms of x. In the other n, Meron din ka, meron ka ring integral of n dy. And it should be plus f of x. Okay? And then you compare this two, number eight, compare. Just like yung steps ng exact differential equation. Compare the answer. In uh, compare the answers in number seven to get the general solution. So basically, that's the step. Medyo mahaba, pero once you get to know it, once you get familiar with the steps, makukuha mo yung sagot. But you need to really inspect each step. Before you proceed to the next step, verify mo muna, review each step para before you proceed, para you sure, you're sure na yung steps mo as you progress to the final answer is correct. Because it is different or very hard to troubleshoot Kung may mali ka. Let's say, for example, in number six, um, you did not arrive or the test of exactness fails. So maybe something is wrong from step uh, three to five. There must be something wrong there. So babalikan mo siya. Hanapin mo kung saan yung mali. The class... Ah, nasundan niya. Yes. Going to label this as number one. X squared plus Y squared DX minus XY DY equals zero. So that's your... First you inspect. Um, is this variable separable? No. Is this homogeneous? Well, yes, because you have a degree of 2 here, degree of 2, and this will have 1 plus 1, so degree is also 2. This can be solved using homogeneous differential equation. So whatever is your answer using, uh, let's say, exact or non-exact, then you can cross-check and solve it using homogeneous differential equation. You will arrive on the same answer. So let's proceed to testing whether this is exact or non-exact. But first, you have to take note that the arrangement should be mdx plus ndy equals zero. Is this mdx? Yes. Ndy? Yes. Is this plus? No. Si minus yan. So carry ng xy yung sign na negative. So, kung magpa-partial integration ka dyan or partial derivative ka dyan, carry yung sign na yan. Ha? So, partial derivative of m with respect to y. Take note that your x here is constant. So, therefore, this is your m, right? So, partial derivative of the first term, 0. Partial derivative of the second term, 2y. Partial derivative of n with respect to x. 
So, carry yung negative sign, no? You have an expression here na negative x, y. Wherein y is constant. So, isulat mo yung negative y dyan. Kasi kasama yan kaagad sa sagot dahil it's considered constant. What's the derivative of x? 1. So, you don't need to write 1. And as you can see, not equal. The answers. So, not exact. Right? So, you proceed now to finding for the integrating factor. So, try tayo ng case 1 if it's possible. You're hoping to arrive at an exclusively x function. So, the formula is 1 over n, 1 over n partial derivative of m with respect to y minus partial derivative of n with respect to x. And you fill in, what is our n? 1 over negative xy. What is the partial derivative of n? So, you have 2y minus tapos negative y. Alright, so the answer is y plus y is 3y over negative xy. But this both, both the y might cancel yan. So you have negative 3 over y. That's your component in solving for the integrating factor. So our expression for the integrating factor is e to the integral of what you have here, which is, sulat natin sa labas, ang negative 3, and then you have dy over y. And so this is equal to e to the negative 3 ln of y. Or you could also write this as e 2 ln of y to the negative 3. But what is e to the ln of y to the negative 3? y to the negative 3. Right? So this is your integrating factor. And that is what you're going to multiply in the next line to the terms in the original differential equation. So you have x squared plus y squared dx plus, plus na natin class ha, may negative tayo dyan. So negative y to the negative 3 and then xy dy equals 0. So distribute, so you have y to the negative 3 and then x squared then, meron tayo ditong 1 over y, dx. Okay? And then, minus, meron tayo ditong x over y squared, dy equals 0. Kasi magka-cancel yung ating y dyan eh. Yan. Okay? And then, this one, yan, may isa. So, y to the negative 2. And then, isulat na lang natin siya as x over y squared. Okay? So, our next line should be that we test now. Let's say test for exactness. Let me just... Where should I write? Can I write in the next line? Yeah. Okay. Partial derivative of m. No, oh, wait. There's an an integrating factor. What's our expression? Our expression is y to the negative 3 x squared plus 1 over y. So what's what's the partial derivative of this? In terms of y, we have to write wait the class, huh? What's the partial derivative of that? It is equal to the x squared would be constant, considered constant. 
And so you're going to derive y to the negative 3. What's the derivative of y to the negative 3? Negative 3, y to the negative 3 minus 1. Okay. So let me review. Yeah. And then the other one, 1 over y. What's the derivative of 1 over y? The derivative of 1 over y or y to the negative 1 is negative 1 y to the negative 1 minus 1. Okay, class. So the answer here is negative 3x squared y to the negative 4. Okay. Then plus tayo. Oh, no. It's not plus anymore. Kasi minus na siya dahil dito. May negative 1 ka dyan eh. So minus y to the negative 2. Then, what is the partial derivative of the integrating factor times the n over x? We have negative x over y squared. Okay. x over y squared. What's the derivative of this class in terms of x? Meron tayong negative 1 over y squared na 1 over y squared. Kasama na yan eh. But what is the, in, the derivative of negative x? Ano? Positive x na kasi may isang, it's 1, right? Negative 1 over y squared. Parang hindi sila nag-equal, no? Kasi meron tayong ito. Let's check. So this is 1... What I say, what I said a while ago, na before you proceed to the next line, dito nyo mabeverify ngalon kung tama ba yung ginawa nyo, baka may malika, kasi hindi sila nag-equal. So trace back mo yun. Kasi ito tama ba yung ating ano? So negative y over q. Yes. Meron magtaas ng kamay. M with respect to Y. This one? Yes po. Okay. Ang derivative ng X squared is zero kasi constant siya. Derivative ng Y squared is 2Y. Diba? Tama? Okay. O kasi constant, di mo naman i-derive yan. Tsaka kung may y ka dito, ah, hindi magiging zero yan kasi magiging x squared ang sagot dyan. Dahil ang x squared, you consider that as constant ng isang variable na in that case ay y. Kung may y dyan ha, kung halimbawa ito. Pares, paresa natin ng y sa tabi niya. So, pag nag-derive ka ng x squared y, ang derivative nun is x squared. Pero kung walang y, then the derivative of that would be zero. Okay. Tapos yung pangalawang term is 2y. Tapos yung pangatlo, ah, uh, no, pangatlo, yung n naman, yung n naman, ang partial derivative niyan in terms of x is negative y. Okay? So, tama naman yung ating kinopia, no, na given because this is, okay, tama naman. So, not equal nga siya. And so, not, it is non-exact. Kaya, meron na tayong formula ngayon na to solve for the integrating factor, we try case 1, in which ang case 1 nga natin Partial derivative ng 1 over n is equal to the partial derivative of m with respect to y minus the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, meron tayong 1 over negative xy. Dito ako nagbabasa ngayon. 
So that it would be 2y minus the negative y. So magiging plus na siya, no? Pero may negative sa labas, kaya meron tayong negative 3 over... Bakit naging y? Nag-cancel na nga ang y eh. X yan, sorry. It should have been exclusively x. Bakit ba y ang sinulat ko kaya pala Mali tayo dyan. Mali yan, class. So, ito. Ikakat ko. Okay. Balik tayo. Dito ako nagkamali, class. Um, Mag-cancel na yung y dyan, no? Bakit ko ba sinulat na 3 over y? So, the answer here is that you have an integrating factor equal to e to the integral of negative 3 um, dx over x. And so we have e to the negative 3 ln of x. So e to the ln of x to the negative 3. So we have x to the negative 3. Or 1 over x cubed. That's your integrating factor. And that's what you're going to multiply to each. Kanina kasi ang nakuha natin is 1 over y cubed. So we now have 1 over x cubed multiplied to x squared plus y squared dx minus 1 over x cubed multiplied to xy dy equals 0. And so, distribute, what do we have? We have x to the negative 1 plus y squared over x cubed. X cubed yan. And then, that's your new differential equation after multiplying it with the integrating factor. And so, what happens here? We have y over, mag-cancel na to. So, may naiwan tayong x squared sa baba, dy equals 0. Yan. And then, we, next step class, next. Derivative. Huh? Derivative. Derivative. So, pa find the partial derivative of m times the integrating factor and n times integrating factor. You're going to perform test for exactness the second time. Huh? So, in our times the integrating factor, partial derivative of y. Now, let x to the negative 1 plus y squared. So, the first term is 0. Because that is all x and it's considered constant. Second term, partial derivative of this, isulat mo na natin yung 1 over x cubed. Kasi constant yan. Derivative ng y squared is 2y. So therefore, the answer is 2y over x cubed. How about partial derivative ng n times the integrating factor over x? Our answer is negative y over x squared. So, isulat natin yung negative y kasi constant yun. Tapos, ang i-derive natin is yung 1 over x to the negative 2. Or, we could also write it as x to the negative 2. And what is the derivative of x to the negative 2? Negative 2 x to the negative 2 minus 1. So, the answer for that, magiging positive na to. Uh, parehong may negative. Tapos may 2y tayo over x cubed. Okay, it's the same class. So, nagiging exact na siya. Right? So, that's what I uh, illustrated a while ago kanina. Na pag nagkamali ka, nakita mo na bakit hindi siya nagiging exact. Dapat exact na siya eh. 
So there was something or you committed an error dun sa part kanina. Kaya nagbago tayo kasi nakuha ko it's so 1 over y cube when in fact it has to be 1 over x cube dapat. Dito dito ako nagkamali kanina. Okay class, na? No? Nakita niyo ha. Yan na illustration na pag nagkamali ka, babalik ka talaga. Kasi nakita mo na dapat exact ito eh. Bakit kaya hindi? So ngayon, ito yung ating bagong differential equation, no? After na multiply. Yan ngayon ang gagamitin mo sa pag-integrate mo kasi magpa-partial integration ka naman na, ka na naman ngayon. So, x to the negative 1 plus y squared over x cubed. I-integrate mo yan. Okay, let me write it. x to the negative 1 plus y squared over x cubed. y squared over x cubed dx. So, the technique here is since you're partially integrating with respect to x, ilalabas mo lahat ng mga y at tapos i-distribute mo na yon ng integral sign. So, meron ka ngayon dx over x kasi x to the negative 1 yan eh. Labas ko yung y squared then I will be concerned only with integrating 1 over x cubed. Okay, class. So, the answer here is ln of x. And then, plus, meron kang y squared. What's the integral of x to the negative 3? Ayan. Integral for this is equal to x. Mag plus yun, di ba? Negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 1. So, the answer here is negative x to the negative 2 over 2. Ayun. Plus, since you're integrating with respect to x, meron kang hahanaping f of y. Okay? Sundan niyo ako, class. Hmm? Yes, ha? Yes, po. Yes, yes. So, tapos yung pangalawa, negative y over x squared dy. So, integral of negative y over x squared dy. Let me check. Okay, tama. So, the integral for that in terms of y, ilapas mo yung 1 over x squared para hindi ka malito. Yung negative sign na rin. And so, you have the may one is y dy. Ayan. So, the answer is negative y squared over 2x squared. Kasi ito, integral of this is y squared over 2. Tapos may 1 over x squared ka sa baba. That's why, that is this. This is now the answer. Plus g of x. Okay? So, you'd call this as equation 2. And then this one is equation 1. Okay, class. So, ngayon, i-compare mo yung dalawang ito. Di ba you notice that this one here and this one are the same. Correct? Na class? Are they the same? Are these two the same? Yes, Kapo, yes. ma'am. Yan. Yeah. Yes, so, mas, mas good. Okay. So, let's continue then. Nakikita mo na you only have one term sa dito sa part na to, itong line na to. You only have one term plus g of x as the answer. Whereas, dito sa line na to, you have three terms. ln of x plus y squared plus f of y. So, you compare. These two are the same. And then this is ln of x, which means that this is your g of x. Your g of x is actually ln of x. How about your f of y? Your f of y, you refer that to equation 2. And since your equation 2 has no exclusively y, your f of y is 0. So, you can get your final answer either equation 1 or equation 2. 
you just have to substitute, like for example, in equation 2, since your g of x still to be uh, looked into in equation 1, but then you know already that your g of x is actually ln of x. So your final answer would be f is equal to negative y squared over 2x squared. And then plus ln of x equals c. That should be your answer for this item. But you can simplify this. Um, yung ln of x kasi negative yung negative y squared. Pangitingnan ang sagot pag nag-start ang term ng negative. So, i-rearrange lang natin. You could say that our final answer would be, I will just write it here ln of x minus y squared over 2x squared equals c. So this is your final answer class. And kita niya. So oh, sorry for that. ln. ln of x minus y squared over 2x squared equals c. Okay, class? So, nasundan nyo yan, yung pagsasolve natin. Ha? Huh? Okay. So, that's for one example if you're looking for that. Okay. Number two, we have x plus 4y cubed dy minus y dx. Okay? Now, check mo, class. It should be m dx plus n dy equals 0. Now, what happens here is nauna si dy. Nahuli si dx. So, it doesn't follow this one. I rearrange mo to. It should be y dx plus x plus 4 y cubed dy equals 0. So that when you get the partial derivative of m with respect to y, ito yung gagamitin mo. Because that's your m. It has to be m dx and dy. Not the other way around. Not m dy plus n dx. No, no, no. So you arrange it. So, to get the partial derivative, this is equal to negative 1. And the partial derivative of n with respect to x would be positive 1. This would be 0 because it's y, uh, variable y. But then, negative 1 is, of course, not equal to positive 1. Therefore, an exact. So, again... You're going to try the following. Let's say, okay, what am I going to do? See, ito, para ma-follow itong template na to. So, therefore, ito na yung n natin. Ito yung m. So, I will not try 1 over n because it involves two terms. So, no, I will not try that. I will instead try 1 over m having uh, the following, no? Yung 1 over m, which is case 2. Partial derivative of n with respect to x minus the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Yun yung formula niya, class, no? Mauna si n. So, fill in. Yung m natin is 1 over, uh, yung itong 1 over m is 1 over negative y. And then I have the partial derivative of n, which is 1, minus negative 1. So I have negative and negative is positive. And then I have negative y. My negative jam. So that is now the expression for my integrating factor. This is exclusively y. 
Now, for case 2 class set class, dapat ang makuha mo exclusively y. For case 1, it should be exclusively x. Case 1 is 1 over n, partial derivative of m with respect to y minus partial derivative of n with respect to x. This is, it, it should be exclusively x for it to be possible. No? So for case 2, which is this case, ito yung ginawa natin, it should be exclusively y. So your integrating factor is this one, which is negative 2 over y dy. And so it is equal to um, e to the integral. Labas natin si negative 2. So we have dy over y. Or e to the negative 2 ln of y. Or e to the ln of y to the negative 2. Or that's equivalent to y to the negative 2. Or 1 over y squared. That's your integrating factor. So similar pa rin ang process class. Pag once makuha mo na yung integrating factor, multiply mo na siya sa original na DE natin. Ito yun, no? You multiply it here, each term, you should be able to arrive at a, an exact this time. Na magiging pareho na sila, sila dapat. Okay? So, pag i-multiply natin yan, meron tayo ditong, ayan, no? So, 1 over, malit yan, 1 over y squared. I-multiply natin siya dito sa negative y dx. Negative y. Ano? Ano ba? Yeah. Negative y dx plus 1 over y squared times x plus 4y cubed. dy equals 0. So, the answer would be negative 1 over y dx plus, mm, sige. So what do we have? Well, we have x over y squared and then plus 4y dy equals 0. So partial derivative of m with respect, meron tayo dyan, no? y. So ito, Derivative ng negative 1 over y or derivative ng y to the negative 1 is negative 1 y to the negative 2. Or you can write it as 1 over y squared. Okay, sige. Tapos dito naman sa kabila, partial derivative of n with respect to x would be equal to, ito tayo, ito tayo na nakatingin. No? So, Partial derivative na niyan. Sulat natin yung 1 over y squared. Derivative ng x is 1. Okay? Um, tapos, teka lang class, this would be positive by the way. Kasi may negative ka dito. Tapos may negative ka pa dyan. Tama ba? Kasi dapat pa, pareho sila ng sign, ano? So, ayan, may negative na dito. So, this becomes positive na. Ayan, positive na yan. Kasi ito yung i-derive mo. Ang derivative of that is negative. Y to the negative 1 yan eh. Anong derivative niyan? Derivative niyan is negative Y to the negative 1 minus 1. Tapos, times negative 1 ka dyan. Kaya magiging positive y to the negative 2 yan. So, ito yan. Dito naman, derivative nito is this one, 1 over y squared. Derivative ng 4y is 0. So, makikita mo ngayon, equal sila. Hmm? Ito. Tsaka ito. Okay? So, you can now proceed to integrating. So, hanggang dito na lang ako, class, no? Um, uh,